Hey guys, welcome to the channel. My name is Derek. Definitely glad you're here. Glad you gave me a chance. Glad for all the subscribers, the followers, and everything. I want to go ahead and say a couple things. First and foremost, um, I know a lot of people come to this channel um, lately because of the stuff we've been doing with Sweetie. Now, I know the content that I normally do is gaming, you know, Pokemon, skits, and I talk about my life. I I'm boring. I'm a boring person. Not very interesting. As much as I want to be. As much as my whole life I wanted to be a uh, a gamer. Like a big gamer on YouTube. I've been doing this for 10 years off and on. But, you know, lately with... I, I've been getting a lot of people just saying nice things to me. Yes, I got the haters. That's fine. That goes with it. You know, I in, in 10 years I could probably tell you like a whole book of death threats and... Me getting called fat and bullied off the internet, that, that's happened a lot. I don't really care. I take it in strife. You know, as somebody that has severe bipolar depression and heart disease and whatnot, you know, I, I have fun. This is an outlet for me. I hope I don't disappoint you guys um, whenever I'm no longer talking about this guy. Because he is about to become irrelevant. He will be irrelevant. I know he hates to hear that. But it's true. He will become irrelevant. He's not going to make it to 100,000 followers. He's not. He's just not. He's not a good debater. He won't debate Blue Bacon. He says he will. But he wants it to be on his terms. Even when Blue Bacon offered him right then and there to do it, he backs out. That's what he does. He's afraid. He knows. He knows he's a fraud. Now, guys, guys, before we get started here, before I go any further, things I say on this video is purely opinion. It is protest. It is parody. It is satire. It's also protected by the First Amendment of the United States Constitution. And that's pretty cool. Anyways, anyway, since I'm a fat... What what was he called me? He called me a rude, crude, fat ass. His his uh, boyfriend that's always with him. Yeah, that that was funny. That was funny. Really funny coming from that guy. <laughs> really funny. But anyways, I'm not going to dwell on that. I'm not going to dwell on that. Not. But today I decided. Well, actually yesterday, to be honest with you, and part of today, I decided to look up some things. Like during my lunch break, I was. Like, hey, why did he get kicked off TikTok? I never could figure that out. And apparently on TikTok, he had a pretty decent following. And it's probably why he has such a big ego. Well, let's let's just say this. He was born with the ego. He was born with the ego. So I decided to type in his name. And just to see what happens. So I tried delete laws, delete laws. Mr. His Name, I'm just going to call him Sweetie. You guys know his name. I'm not calling him by his name. He does His name's not worth shit to me. So he will be Sweetie. Captain Spooge, King Spooge. Captain Diabetes. He will not be, I will not say his name anymore. It's just going to be that. I can't prove these things, but it's just my opinion. But anyways, I saw a bunch of stuff that popped up. Now... We do have some videos where we talked about his overt racism. And, you know, you could have saw that. The, I think it was Monday we posted a video where he was on a phone call with the Ironton and Lawrence County City Council member that happens to be black. And Sweetie has to constantly interject every five to ten minutes to remind him that he's black. Now, I don't know about you. But I'm pretty sure that's racism. That is. I mean, it's, it is. It is. It is a thing. He is a racist, in my opinion. But, if you actually type his name on TikTok, and the word racism, or racist, woo, there's a lot of stuff there. There's a lot of stuff that he had pissed off a lot of people in the black community. Which, I come to find out that he likes to insert himself into things that he does not belong in. And he likes to be really, he likes to threaten people, by the way. If somebody stands up for themselves or says, hey, I'm not going to help you, 
he threatens people. He's like, A, either A, he's going to sue you, or B, he wants you to get in the arena. But first, but first, guys, make sure if you're going to get in the arena with him, you have to sign some papers. He wants those papers signed. That's very important. And he also wants the camera to be there. But if somebody challenges him off that, he backs away. All he will do is say, I'm Alpha, you're just scared of me. Sweetie, sweetie, nobody's afraid of you. You don't intimidate anybody at all. You don't. You just don't. You're a nobody. You're a piece of shit. Just saying. Just saying. It's my opinion, guys. My opinion. But, again, if you take a look, you go on TikTok, type in his name and the word racism, you can see that. Now, not only does he have a problem with racism, he also has problems with women. He likes to be, let's see, creepy. Really creepy. And I have a few things. I have a couple clips I'll show you guys. And we'll probably end it here. And you guys can be tell me what you think. You know, when I was younger, when I was, you know, I'm thir I'll am i be 35 here in a couple weeks. You know, I like women. It, you know, most men do. Most men, you either like men or women. It doesn't matter. If you want to, you know, want marry a reindeer, I don't care. I don't care. But I know back in the day when I was in high school, I was all about getting laid. Which, I, spoiler alert, I didn't get laid until after high school. Whew, that was fun. That was fun. Glad to get that all out. Glad to get that all out. I mean, sweetie must get it every single day. Now, I don't look at women as a object, one. I don't say, hey, smells like a woman. I'm going to sleep with this woman. I think you want the D bad. Now, me and my fiancé might talk, say some things like that to each other, but I'm not going to divulge in that. To do that, that's that's between her and I. We don't, we you know, that's between her and I. Nobody else's business. But when you post it on the internet for everybody to see and say some really outlandish bullshit, you kind of come to th figure out he's a huge sexist, like bad. He's a misogynist pig, bad, like big time. And the guys, it's my opinion, can't prove it. But I'll let you guys see these clips. And I'll start them right here. And I'll still throw in a couple pictures. So let's go ahead and see these. Spooge Jarek. Spooging on women in the jail. Spooging on women. Disgusting, dude. Disgusting. I like chicks just as much as any other guy. Probably more. Probably more. Because I'm an equal opportunity guy. Black, white, red, green, purple, short, tall, thick. I do them all, baby. I love all women. Every one of them. <laughs> Smells like a woman to me. Makes me happy. I love women. I don't sleep with women who are at their bottom of their barrel living in a jail, dude. I wait till they go put their dress on, put on their lipstick. They look pretty. They feel pretty. They put on some pretty perfume. And then slowly but surely over time, you know, try to get in there because I'm a man, right? But I don't sleep with women straight out of the jail cell, take them into a broom closet and bang them, dude. You're not worth respecting. Disrespect these men. What kind of coffee do you drink? I, I drink pure black coffee. Just like I like my women, dark and black <laughs> and hot. That's not true. I like all women of all colors, but... As a matter of fact, I was, a, I, I was actually kind of flirting with a, or trying to, she wasn't interested, but there was a black girl here I was flirting with, I was trying to flirt with her, she didn't flirt with me back. <laughs> she was just a little hottie I saw on Facebook, I was, hey, what's going on? She didn't reply, so, I mean, she replied politely, but, yeah. and then she didn't post my DMs and say, look, this guy was trying to flirt with me. I was trying to flirt with her. <laughs> She's welcome to do whatever she wants with the, the DMs. Every time I DM someone, I realize someone's going to take a screenshot of this and post it. So, I just try to be as nice as I can as nice as I can. How are you guys doing? So I'm not going to lie to you. That was pretty disgusting. That was pretty creepy. 
A guy that's almost 50 years old thinks he's God's gift to women. Like, he's he's just wanting to hand that D out to anyone he can. He's equal opportunity, is what he says. I know back in the day, whenever I was younger and rambunctious and slimmer, you know, I, I probably said some awful things. But when you get older, you kind of learn your place. Women should be respected. That's my opinion. I think that should be pretty standard. Like, you shouldn't cross the line. It's just me. It's just me. You know, I like I said, when I was a teenager and when I was in college, I'd probably done stupid shit like that. But I'm not 50. I'm not 50 years old. You know, I'm past that stage. You know, I don't tell every chick I see, hey, you want the D? Do you want the D? Do you want the D? No, I don't. I don't say that. I don't say that. I won't say that. Now, me and my fiancé might say some things to each other, but that's between her and I. I'm sure you and your, you know, your significant others probably share those things too. But we're not here to talk about that. We're here to talk about how he's a disgusting sexist pig. Not only that, he's a disgusting racist sexist pig. In my opinion, guys. Can't prove it. Just my opinion. Thank you for the First Amendment. But, but, I just wanted to, you guys to see this. I also want to know, what the fuck is wrong with your arms, dude? Are, are those scars? What is that? What the hell is that? I just want to know. I just want to know. What is it? It looks like track marks, but I can't prove it. Is it scars or track marks? Something's there. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I definitely appreciate it. Feel free to hit that follow button, hit that subscribe button, and I will see you soon. Thank you.